With plenty of brands out there looking to try and produce attractive gaming laptops, you certainly have a lot of choice as a buyer. This laptop here from Acer, who've sponsored this video by the way, thank you to Acer for that, the Predator Helios 300, is one that's vying for your hard-earned cash. At about $1300, is it worth it though? Let's find out. Alright then, diving right into this, I'm going to give you guys the specs of this laptop. This 17-inch mid-range PC is powered by an Intel Core i7 7700HQ processor clocked at 2.8GHz, it's got a GTX 1060 graphics card and 16GB of RAM. Storage-wise, we're rocking 512GB of super-fast SSD storage, that's used as the primary boot drive, and we have a 1TB hard drive in there as well for anything you might want to store on the laptop or as an overflow if you run out of space on the SSD. The 17-inch panel is 1080p resolution, fairly standard for gaming laptops these days. We have a fully backlit keyboard that sits next to a large touchpad, but for games you'll be plugging in an external mouse anyway. Around the side we've got three full USB ports, but only one of them being USB 3 and a single USB Type-C port for use with super fancy storage drives and other things, but it isn't a Thunderbolt port. Also included is a full-size Ethernet port and an SD card reader as well, which, if I'm honest, I did not expect to find on this laptop. With this being a mid-range laptop, you can't expect some of the super high-end features for the price Acer has set here. That said, the internals do offer some good gaming grunt for someone who's on a budget or tight on space in their home. Not every PC gamer can afford to build their own PC, and many of them just simply don't have the space to set up a big desk with enough room for monitors, speakers, keyboard mouse, and sometimes even the PC case itself. That's why gaming laptops can represent really good value when you weigh up those real-life use cases. You get everything you need to play PC games in one small package, as opposed to needing lots of different peripherals that all connect to your bulky PC tower. The Predator Helios 300 I think fits right into that real-life category by offering some really good specs in certain places and then cutting back on premium features in others, which I think gives it great bang for buck. The backlit keyboard and touchpad are fairly standard for a laptop, there's nothing truly fancy about them, but they're there to get the job done. Key presses aren't particularly deep, but they're deep enough to know you've hit the key, and as I said earlier, you're not going to be using the trackpad when gaming, but it's large enough for general web browsing and other standard PC tasks. The Intel Core i7 processor is a quad-core affair clocked at 2.8GHz, but it can boost much higher than that if the games you're playing need that kind of power, and this is one of the areas where Acer has gone with a high-end part in order to make sure that performance isn't sacrificed. The same can be said for the graphics card. Unlike the older 900 series cards, which were simply cut-down versions of desktop-grade ones, this GTX 1060 is the full desktop card fitted into a smaller chassis, giving you the ability to run games at higher settings if you want to, or you can drop the settings and get yourself a nice high frame rate. 16 gigabytes of RAM will be keeping you smooth and steady in really any game that you want to play, and with most games recommending at least a minimum of 8 gigabytes of RAM these days, you do have some good headroom here, unless you're a Google Chrome user that is, that browser eats RAM like there's no tomorrow. Good thing you've got 16 gigs in here. The 17-inch 1080p IPS panel is LED backlit so it can get nice and bright for those late-night gaming sessions, but it is limited to a 60Hz refresh rate. Now, for most gamers, that's really not going to be an issue, but more high-end laptops are starting to include those higher refresh rate panels. 75, 120 or 144Hz panels are becoming more common, but at the price point of the Helios 300, you can't really expect to be getting something like that. Now, besides the hardware, Acer has also included their Predator Sense software with the Helios 300. This allows you to take more control of the hardware inside the laptop and overclock the components to give you even better performance for the price, which is a nice touch here on a mid-range laptop. 
You can switch it to max performance instantly to give you as much boost as possible, or you can customize your own preset and activate that if you want more control over the CPU and GPU speed separately. Bear in mind though, this does ramp up the fan speed of the laptop and thus increases the amount of noise it makes and obviously heat output as well. You're likely going to have headphones on to hear the game that you're playing, so you probably won't hear the fan noise, but I'm sure your girlfriend definitely won't mind the whooshing sound that those fans are going to make. I, I think she'll be absolutely fine with it. Just, just go ahead and give it a try. See what she says. <laughs> The Helios 300, I think, has really good performance at a really good price point. You have to think about some of the real-life trade-offs here. I'd be recommending a machine like this to maybe a student who's going to use it for some schoolwork alongside some gaming as well. During the day, he's going to be typing up essays with the keyboard and trackpad, navigating some files, but then at the end of the day, they can come back to their dorm room, put it down on their desk, plug in an external mouse, and they've got some top-end internals that will give it the gaming grunt in your downtime. These mid-range laptops really have improved a lot over the last few years, especially with the inclusion of some full desktop grade graphics in here. The GTX 1060 really does give you some good graphical performance. The 17 inch form factor of the laptop does make it a little bit more bulky to carry around and of course you've got the power brick to take with you as well so you will need a little bit of a bigger bag than if you had a 15 inch laptop but then when you come to put it down on the desk say you're gaming or you're typing away you do get a full size keyboard with a numpad on the end as well which I always think is a really good thing to have on a laptop. I never like using the FN keys and trying to use a numpad that's hidden behind other keys so the fact that it's on here on this 17 inch laptop laptop, that's a good feature for me. So there you have it, the Acer Predator Helios 300 gaming laptop. Thank you very much for watching today. Let me know and give me some feedback on some of the shots I got with my camera. I went down to my local park to record some of these shots. I think they look really nice, but it would be cool if you guys could give me some feedback because if I do more reviews in the future, I'd love to do more shots like this. It took a little bit longer, but I think it looks much, much nicer than recording it in my flat with lighting that might not be so great. Outside, this looked really, really cool when I was recording it. I hope you guys appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.